upon a time, a king had twelve beautiful daughters. He loved them very much and was worried about their safety. So he locked their bedroom door at night. However, each morning, he found their shoes had been completely worn through as if they had gone somewhere during the night. The twelve princesses denied that they had been anywhere at all. Every day I have to buy my daughters new shoes because they wear them out at night. I must find out where they are going and what they are doing. But the king couldn't solve the mystery. And so, he made a decree to all the land. If anyone can find out where my daughters go at night, I will let him marry one of them. And he will be king someday. Many young princes came from far and wide and tried to solve the mystery. The king allowed them to sleep in a nearby chamber for three nights so they could see where the princesses went. However, the eldest princess gave them each wine. That made them sleep. So they never saw what happened at all. The king punished each one for his failure. One day, an old soldier was walking toward the palace. and saw an old woman by the side of the road, begging for food. He gave her a loaf of bread that he had in his bag. Thank you. Where are you going, soldier? I have been wounded in battle, so I can no longer fight. I hardly know what else to do, but to go and try to solve the mystery of the king's daughters. Perhaps one day I can be king. Well, that is not a very hard task. However, you must not drink the wine that the eldest princess offers you. Also, take this cloak. If you put it on, you will be invisible and you can follow the princesses wherever they go. Thank you, kind woman. I will do my best. The soldier went to the palace, and the king gave him three days to solve the mystery of the princess's shoes. When the eldest princess offered him a glass of wine, he remembered the old woman's advice and only pretended to drink it. Once the princess went away, he spat it out 
and made snoring sounds as if he were asleep. <laughs> Look at this fool, sisters. He has fallen fast asleep like all the others. He'll be punished like the rest of them. Come on, princesses. Let's get dressed. The sisters dressed in their finest clothes and put on their shoes. Um, sisters, I'm not sure if we should go out tonight. I feel as though some bad will happen. Silly girl, you're always afraid of everything. Nothing is going to happen. Even if I hadn't given that soldier a sleeping potion, he would have fallen asleep anyway. <laughs> The prideful eldest princess didn't listen to her sister. She clapped her hands twice, and her bed sank into the floor. A trap door flew open, and she led the way down a dark staircase. As soon as the soldiers saw they were leaving, he threw on his cloak and followed them down the stairs. However, when they were halfway down, he accidentally stepped on the youngest princess's gown. Ah! Someone stepped on my gown! Don't be absurd, sister. There's no one behind you. Your gown probably just got caught on a nail. When they reached the bottom of the stairs, they entered a wondrous forest where silver leaves sprouted from the trees. They were so beautiful that the soldier wanted to pluck one off. When he did, the tree branch cracked and made a loud noise. What was that? It's just the princes shouting because they're excited that we're coming. As they passed through, Another forest with golden leaves, and yet another one with diamond ones. The soldier broke off more branches to take with him. Each time, the youngest princess heard the sounds and worried that something was not right. But the eldest princess paid her no mind. Finally, they came to a lake where each princess stepped into a boat with a handsome prince. The soldier got into the youngest princess's boat. My love, it seems as though the boat is heavier tonight. I'm rowing with all my might, and we are still going so slowly. Um, I'm sure the weather is just making you feel tired. It's very warm out tonight. They arrived at a magnificent castle, where the princesses danced with their princes at a delightful party. The soldier watched them the whole time and even danced a bit himself. Sometimes he even drank the wine out of the princess's cups. Someone drank all of my wine! I'm telling you, sister, something is wrong! Don't be ridiculous. Stop imagining things. At three o'clock, the princess's shoes were very worn out. And the princess rode them back across the lake. They walked back through the forests.
and the soldier ran ahead of them and up the stairs so he could reach his bed first. When the princesses came up, they saw that he was fast asleep in his bed. <laughs> See, sister? Everything is perfectly fine. This silly soldier hasn't a clue about where we went. The next morning, the soldier said nothing about what happened. He wanted to follow the princesses for two more nights. And so he did, grabbing even more leaves from the beautiful trees. On the last night, he even took one of the golden cups from the party. Each time, he ran ahead of the princesses when they returned, so they would never suspect he had followed them. Finally, the soldier's time was up. It has been three nights, soldier. Have you found out where my daughters go at night? And why their shoes are always worn out in the morning? They go down through a secret passageway under the castle, through three forests with silver, gold, and diamond leaves, across a lake, and to a palace where they dance all night with princes, my king. How can I believe you? What proof do you have of this? Here is a silver leaf. A golden leaf. And a diamond one as well. I have also brought you a golden cup from the party. Is this true, my daughters? Do you dance the night away with princes? Mm, we cannot deny it, father. Mm. You have earned your reward, soldier. Which princess would you like to marry? Hmm. I am not very young, so I would like to marry the eldest. They were married that very day. And the soldier was chosen to be the king's heir. And many years later, he became king all over the land. 